Welcome back. Here we're going to explore the visual significance of prime numbers and composite numbers. Okay, so the thing about six, these three dots, is there is another arrangement for them. So I can arrange them as two, now green for two, rows with three columns. Okay, and that's what makes six a composite number. It can be arranged in as the product of prime numbers. Let's go down to our unit. Okay, our unit you really can't arrange it in any way and it's it's the building block for all prime and composite numbers you can add one to get any number so it's neither prime nor composite so the two okay two can be arranged as a row or as a column but it cannot be arranged as rows and columns. Okay, so it cannot be written as the product of two other numbers. That makes two a prime number. So we can think of a prime number as being a number that can only be arranged in a row. Now sure you could make a triangle out of it, but in terms of arranging it as rows and columns, it cannot be done. Where it's going up, they're both red, they're going to arrange them along a row. Red and green is going to arrange it as rows and columns. And if they're both green, it's going to, if everything's green, it's going to arrange it as a column. Okay, so I want to go up to a particularly special number 12. Okay, all green, all red. Somewhere in between. Now, what's special about this is it is a first product of three numbers, three prime numbers, so there's two arrangements for it. You have two times six, are a completely different arrange arrange arrangement, is four times three. Okay, so it has two sets of factors as well as its trivial set of factors, okay, which is 12 by one. Okay. So I hope that kind of um, explains how these things work. I just throw in something kind of large, let's do 42. 242 dots for two by four, two by 21, or six by seven, and I think you're really going to enjoy exploring with this. Okay, good luck, explore with it. Try to understand the difference between prime and composite numbers. Oh, come on, let's do one more. Let's do 91 because it is a horrible composite. It's the one that you might not spot unless you ran it off with seven thirteens. Okay, now let's arrange it the other way by two clicks here. Seven by thirteen. Okay, you can move that out of the way. I left that floating so that you could move it out of the way and look at all your dots. Enjoy, see you in the next one.